Man, there is so much I didn't know about roller games for the NES. I've got a complete set of games, and at a certain point I was picking up like 10 to 20 titles a week, most of which I never played and just filed away alphabetically on my shelves. There are three NES games that start with Roller, and I assume for the longest time that Roller Games was just another 8-bit pinball title, like Rollerball, High Speed, or Rockin' Ball. Well, first of all, Roller Games is not pinball. It's an obstacle racer beat-em-up made by Konami under the Ultra label. Damn, wish I'd noticed that earlier. Also, Roller Games is based on a 1980s roller derby television show of the same name that I never knew existed but so desperately wish I'd known about as a kid. If you've ever been to a roller derby event before, the roller game show is basically that, people on roller skates competing on a track, coupled with scripted over-the-top antics similar to that seen on WWF or GLOW. The story is oddly very closely based on the TV show, but embellished and expanded beyond a simple arena. Basically, the three evil teams have kidnapped the owners and the three good teams have to rescue them. That's actually how the game refers to them, which is great because I didn't want to get confused about who were the bad guys. So you and your wholesome squad have to leave the roller rink and head out onto the streets to bust some heads and scoot around some pavement. You can choose from one of three teams, but you really don't know which character you'll control until the game starts, which is confusing at first. There's Icebox for the T-Birds, Sly Fox for the Hot Flash, and the California Kid Mike Flanagan for the Rockers, who I assume from the sprite was a sexy lady in leopard print tights, and now I'm confused. They seem to have slightly different moves and stats, but I can't really tell much difference, honestly. I will say whether it's because he actually controls like a slow shopping cart, or I'm just fat shaming this dude, the portly Icebox is not my favorite. The gameplay is divided into two types, either you're moving around a screen and avoiding obstacles while skate punching enemies, which is absolutely as gratifying as it sounds, or you're on a static screen in more of a beat em up style scenario like Double Dragon. You only have two buttons, jump and punch, but in the fighting sections of the game you can also grab the enemies and knee them in the face before throwing them. You've also got kind of a jump kick punch that's not so effective. Then there's even a TMNT style super attack if you press A and B together. Neat. There's great balance in gameplay that's part level memorization, coupled with old school hit and flea style brawling. The game controls really well, and even in the isometric-esque sections, you can still navigate the dangers with ease. While beat-em-ups are often tough or boring with a two-button controller, the action here is pretty satisfying, even in its simplicity. Roller Games is for sure classic Konami. There really isn't any single game they made for the NES that's a stinker, and I'm including stuff like Metal Gear and Adventures of Bayou Billy in that list. Even their worst titles are better than 90% of the NES library. In appearance, Roller Games most reminds me of Russian Attack or Monster in My Pocket, while the music and sound effects remind me of Zen the Intergalactic Ninja or any of the Ninja Turtles games. Considering it came out in 1990, I'd honestly say it's one of the most impressive overall presentations on the system. In terms of difficulty, yeah, Roller Games is pretty tough to say the least. Maybe one of the hardest games out there, and that is saying a lot. The screen moves super quick in a lot of stages, and some of these obstacles are impossible, impossible to avoid. Like most titles at the time, dying takes you back to the beginning of the stage, no matter how far you progress, so get used to running the same sections over and over and over again. This is for sure the real blood boiler, as you'll often miss one very difficult jump late in the stage, and then have to battle your way back for five minutes just to miss an entirely different but equally hard jump. Gah! Roller Games is one of those titles that your friend probably spent every weekend playing repeatedly, and even 20 years later can flawlessly run through without dying. However, if you're just picking it up today for the first time, get ready for some frustration. Luckily there's Infinite Continues, so at least it's not one of those three strikes and it's game over titles. Would I recommend Roller Games? Absolutely. It's such a silly concept, but in the hands of Konami it becomes this action-packed feast for the eyes and ears that's both challenging and fun. Check it out. Hey y'all, if you like my channel, I'm posting a bonus video every week at patreon.com slash words. so if you want to see more and also give me a little support, I would really appreciate it. Otherwise, thanks for watching.